Hey guys, how's it going? Fungo J here. Uh, and today uh, we're going to be doing a couple of things. Um, I'm going to be reviewing uh, a couple of a couple of um, old things, a lot like Dad. Um, <coughs> Hello, Kato Pops. I know I went live uh, a couple minutes early. Uh, I think about seven or eight minutes early. Um, but you know, I just decided. Um, why not? Hey, Stiller. How are you? I can't wait for you to come over today, Stell. Oh, it's just, I woke up this morning and I'm like, today's the day. Today's the day, finally. Um, so for all of you guys who are not Stella, um, <laughs> um, today uh, I'm going to have uh, my birthday party because my birthday is on Monday. Hey, Lex. Lex, you spelled Melbourne wrong. <coughs> Hello, Teddy Toy Hunter. So, so everyone, back to what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we are going to be reviewing um, just some old stuff that we got from Mill Markets. And you spelled no wrong, Lex. Um, just some stuff that we got from... <laughs> yeah, you're going to be old like us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kato Buffs. Oh, you're an angel. Um, yes, I am going to be old today uh so for the past couple of weeks um dad and i we've been going back and forth <laughs> to the mill market um and these are just some things that we picked up you know yada 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 so on um so yeah so we might as well get into it shall we mm. all right so the first thing okay that we got so Everyone knows, it, well, if you guys have been watching my videos, especially my vintage toy hunt ones, um, can't believe you both went to the market. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Teddy Toy Hunter, but I wanted to go to the mill market a couple of times um, so that then we could get this stuff and then do a big live stream with all of you here. So and then, I could, then I could explain everything and how we did it. Hey, Dragon Hills. How are ya? Okay, so like I said before, so if you have been watching my videos, uh, especially my vintage toy hunt ones, um, then you would know that at the mill market there is a huge variety of Lego figures. Um, so Dad and I, well, mostly Dad, he um, was just like, well, I've got to, I've got to do this now. I've got to get some. So he got quite a few, actually. Um, so I'm going to show them to you and, yeah. Okay, so the first one that we got here, he's got a bit of dust on him, but um, just a little bit of dust. Uh, but, you know, he's in pretty good shape. So we've got Captain America right here. He's really cool. I like him. Um, I'm not sure if you can take the helmet off him, though. Oh, you can. Now he's an older... Captain America, he's gone bold. Yep, so just this mystery. Any problems? So sad. I was no! Oh, Kato Pops. Dang, that is that's like the saddest thing ever with Pops. Apart from when you miss out on getting some that you wanted, which I've had that happen to me before and it sucks. Marvel Legos are so awesome. Yeah, they are, um, Kev. I think they do a really good job on them. Yeah, it really does. So did you order, so Kato Pops, did you order the flocked Ernie uh, or did you just order the normal one? Because um, I, well, about a year or so ago now, uh, Dad and I, well, Dad, Pops get to that a lot. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've got, right. We've got nine of them. So, yeah. Hello, Sam and Elle. Um, I'll search that up. Going to get the flopped one, but it was more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you, do, you don't have to do that, Kev, if you don't necessarily want to. But thank you, though. So what are they called again? Mini mates. Mini mates. Mini mates. Meanie mates. 
Oh yeah, those things. Well, um, to be honest, Seven L. I'm not really a fan of them. Um, <laughs> they're yeah, they're kind of Lego-ish. Yeah. Um, a couple of my friends, yeah, they're they're interested in them and they sort of collect them. They got a couple in their like on their shelves in their rooms and stuff like that. Tattoo Toy Hunter, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But if you do, I ordered it from Pop Culture Gallery in Geelong. Oh, cool. So, Kettle Pops, do you live in Australia? And I have a ton of mini mates also. <laughs> I don't mind them with the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, no offence to Tattoo Toy Hunter, but, yeah, they are pretty ugly. Um, yeah, so I don't really collect them that much. I... I'm not really a figure collector, to be honest. I live in Melbourne. Oh, cool. So we only really live an hour or so away from each other. How cool is that? <laughs> Daddy toy hunter. Um, so I'm really not um, like a figure collecting person. I I find beauty in the ugly. <laughs> Just like me. Yeah, exactly. Just like me. Um, so I've never really found like collecting are they blocky figures sort of they're like um sort of like deformed lego figures dragon hills that's the best way that i can describe it so i might as well to, um go to the next lego fig yeah they're cubish very weird oh okay so the next one that we've got he's also pretty dusty it's pretty cool. I've um, got Aquaman. Oh, the sun's right in my eyeballs. Aquaman right here. Oh, focus, focus. There we go. There it is. I want, I was going to go down to that. Yeah, you really should, mate. Cattle Pops. Yep, so there's Aquaman. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this sun is right in my eyeballs. So I'm just going to quickly uh, pull this blind down that's in front of me. So be, I'll be very quick. No sun in eyeballs anymore. Okay. So everyone, there's Aquaman. You can see him a lot better now. There we go. Um, then we have... Just take the scarf you stand, make it easier. <laughs> and I've also noticed, okay, I watched your video, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it is, um, it's really open and it's really big, Cato Pubs. You should go there. Um, like if you're living in if you live in Melbourne, yeah, they do, they do. And they have a truckload of like necker figures, um, like Q Pos, well not Q Poskets really, but like they have Q babies, necker figures, all of that. Hey, bees popping, popping. I'm going pretty good. How are you? Um, yeah, bees popping, popping. It's my birthday party today um, because my birthday is on the Monday. So I'm very, very excited and very happy today. How are you? Uh, everyone, so the next. Um, hey. Oh, hang on. Hey, Mountain fan. How are you, mate? It does look amazing, Cato Pops, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jake and Hills and Bees popping, popping. Okay, hang on. So I've just broken this guy's arm. There we go. Put it back on. Thank you, Seven Hour. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, so the next guy that we have here um, is none other than the Clown Prince of Crime, the Joker. There it is. Hang on. Just got it. There we go. There he is. He's focused now. Yes, he's pretty cool. Can take the hair off him, all of that. Yes, very cool. Yes, very cool indeed. <coughs> I was, it's funny because I was supposed to start exactly two minutes ago. Yeah, he is one of my favourites as well. It's funny with the live stream, I was um, about to start three minutes ago and I've been going for 10 minutes. So, yeah. Hello, Louise Toy World. Oh, the sun. 
Just go away, son. No one likes you. Did the box come? No, Mountain Dew fan, it hasn't come yet, but I do think that it's going to arrive either today, tomorrow, or the next day. Hopefully. Hide for the Joker film. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks okay. My friend Jamison, um, he's absolutely pumped for it because he's really into, uh, like, comic books and drawing and all of that. Um, so him and Dad get along very well because Dad's artistic as well. Um, yeah, so he's hyped for it and he's been blubbering under my ear for a while. So I'm just going to have a quick drink. I ate fish for breakfast this morning. Like, who here likes fish? Because I definitely do. Um, I had a bit of it, and now there's a little bit in between my teeth, and I can't get it out. Okay. <laughs> so that was a little bit too much information. All right, everyone. So next, um, Lego fish. Fish, I like seafood. Mm. Oh, yum, squid. I like the squid. <laughs> I love fish, but I don't consider it a breakfast food. Yeah, Kev, I am a humongous leftovers person. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, the fishy fish. Not when the fish is staring back at me all dead. No, I don't like that either. I love fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't like it when the fish is just, like staring at you like, you did this to me. They're going to eat me. <laughs> Oh, yes, leftovers are the best, definitely. So, um, <laughs> um, so I try to eat not as much at dinner time so that there are leftovers for me to eat the next morning. Um, I know that that doesn't sound great, but I do that all the time. Good morning, Dad. Yes, everybody's here. Who's everybody? <laughs> we got Dragon Hills, we got Seven Out, we got Tatty Toy Hunter, we got um, we got Jumpson. Jumpson's just hopped on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, they're all here. There you go. Oh, thank you. It's a hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> bees popping, popping, loving the predator, your dad's. Oh, dad, bees popping, popping, loves your helmet. Oh, thank you. What time is it up there? It's 9.05 in the morning. Saturday morning. Yeah, Saturday morning. All right, so everyone, the next um, figure that we have is none other than Thor. Oh, you show them a little Lego collection? Yeah, yeah. I told them more that the mill market, like they have this huge variety of um, like the Lego figs. Yeah, yeah. And they weren't that expensive either, so. Just been buying a bit by bit and I've realised I've got a bloody collection on them. Yeah. Yes, the helmet is great. Dragon Hills likes it too, Dad. Thank Got you. some Ghostbusters Funko Pets today. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, were they Funko Pets? Yeah. I've never seen them. Neither, neither have I, but they sound pretty cool. I've seen Funko Pets, mm. but I haven't seen Ghostbusters one. And I reckon Kev, on his latest video, scored. I don't, I don't know if they're necker, and he'll tell you if they aren't, but it's a four-pack of... Um, the Stranger Things uh, cast RPM. in the Ghostbusters gear for like nine bucks. Mm, yeah, I hate it how like everything is so much cheaper in America than in Australia. Like, yeah. everything is cheaper. It is slightly frustrating, Joe. Yes, exactly. Hello, RPM. How are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Now I need to slide in there for a minute. Why? Okay. Hang on a second, everybody. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm just sliding away. You get to look at the top of my head for a minute. That's your back. Is it? <laughs> it could be worse. I could have no top on at all. Oh, don't say that. But... <laughs> Can't oh, hang on. Got... Oh. Got two pairs for scooter already. Oh, really? Cool. Which one's low? I'll get what, one. What did you get for your birthday? Um, so Mountain Dew fan. <laughs> That's me trying to look great while well, sliding in. Over. Oh, thank you. Um, so I haven't got anything for my birthday yet because it's not my actual birthday until yet, Monday. Until Monday. 
Um, the way I $7 day. Anything to do with shiny things, I think I'll collect. Oh, you that's know. nuts. Louie actually got me the um, Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator where he's covered in mud. He's going to send it over to me. Like, how awesome is that? Mm, that is amazing. Um, Manju fan, that thing you were sending over, buddy, had, didn't turn up. So I'm sure it'll turn up Monday. Hey, Sean, how are you? You can't even see me. No, yeah, so I'll scoot over and you shuffle on in. Scoot over, that's my name. <laughs> yeah, hang on. No, I just got to this watch. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then <laughs> You're just going to have to sort of lean in a bit. I'm half there. Yeah, we're, we're going okay, Sean. We're going to just adjust this camera because Jade wants to be the centre of attention. I do not. And I think I should be. Oh, yeah, because you always are. <laughs> hey. Hey, <laughs> we going? So the other day this worked. We need to swap seats. The other yeah. day this worked perfectly. Yeah, it's because we were on other um, different seats. You. Oh, shite. <laughs> Stuff here everywhere. You have that. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties here. All right, we're nearly there. Calm the farm. I think it was pretty calm, but okay. Oh, oh. Now, why is it zoomed on us? It hasn't. It has. It seems to be like it's only seeing me. <laughs> Could do. All right. Maybe that'll do. That's good enough. I can turn a little. We'll come up this way. See, that's heaps better. We can't see you at all. Oh, I'm just going to scoot my way in. And we'll slide across. There we go. There we go. That's good. Yep, man. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Have yeah. that. You can yeah. see us. <laughs> so, everyone, in case you haven't noticed, Dad's here. No. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to... Um, so which ones have you talked about, child? All of the ones that are out of the container. That calls Aquaman. Yeah, he's cool. He's even angry. Look, at where's that camera? Like, he's even super pissed. Like, someone's just taken out a couple of sharks in front of him or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got this. Oh, fantastic Mountain Dew fan. Oh, you got yeah. that. Did you get your Babe Ruth one you're looking for, buddy? Because I know you're trying to do that. Oh, this roll back a bit. Yes, you can roll back that. Look at that. I, my whole head fits in now. God, that's amazing because your head's super big. Oh. <laughs> Does anyone want a child for the weekend? <laughs> did we watch Lego Masters? Yes, we did. Oh, it was so good, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed Lego Masters, yeah. The mm -hmm. um, Poseidon at the end was amazing. Like That would be the sort of thing you'd want to put a big Perspex frame around and have your lounge room. That was cool as. Mm. And it's like every Lego collector's dream. So totally off Lego. My turn, is it? Yeah, it must be. I was, look, I've been looking for figures because I'm not really into Funko Pops that much anymore. Hey, you can read inside your mind. Sorry. Sorry, I'm um, And I've been looking for Black Series figures, etc. and I got a Boba Fett the other day, which is somewhere. Hang on. Any tips for a strictly Funko Pop channel? Um... Keep it poply. <laughs> That's a totally made up word. Keep it what? Poply. Poply. Um, I guess, oh, because we're not a, I'll, I'll rephrase this. Jay isn't a huge channel by any stretch of the imagination. No. And the only reason we sort of branched out a little bit is I'm not into Funko Pops as much. I'm more into the figures, etc. Um, but Jay and her sister love Funko Pops. So it's sort of become a bit of a mix. Hang on, Dragon Heels. Keep it fun. Go. <laughs> what is Lego Masters? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. We haven't finished. Don't answer the question. So to answer your question about how to keep it Funko, I would be, if you've got the money, it's great because you can buy all the latest release pops, et cetera, et cetera, and um, keep it relevant that way. Or you can look at... Um, Grails you may have, but they run out pretty quick because not everyone's got a lot of grails. Exactly. And not everyone picks up Chase Pops as well as the Tattoo Toy Under does every time he goes out. He's got another one. God damn. 
Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere he goes, he finds one. We're searching through every store in <laughs> oh, Australia. And he just reaches up and goes, oh, my God. Oh. Anyway, so that's what I'd be doing. So back to what I was talking about. On my little hunt, I've been collecting figures. I found these little dudes, little Jawas. Now, the only thing, oh, sorry, I'm saying Jawas. It's Jawa. Jawa. I found these two little blokes. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. They're really cool sculpt on them. But he hasn't got his weapon. I was spewing. I got everything else but the weapon. So. Dang, Sean's lucky. He lives in Geelong and he gets all the chase parts. Who does? Sean. We were in that. Sorry, I just made the whole camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Bye. oh, Louie, how you going, buddy? Thank you so much for that thing you did for me. I'm Thank super you. appreciative of that. That was really nice. Because we, Jay and I, are in Australia, there's only a couple of our close friends that actually send us stuff. And because uh, as soon as you say you're in Australia, people don't want like to do color. it. So, um, yeah, thank you. That was a really nice gesture. I really appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Mm. So they're my little Jawas anyway. So I got them the other day. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. If you live in um, Geelong, then I would – if we lived in Geelong, I would probably not live in a house. I'd probably live out in the back of pop culture. I have no money. Yeah, I like 3.752. When So I've got a story about Star Wars figures, my 3.75. Am I allowed to tell them? I suppose so. When I was younger than Jay, mm. when I was at um, primary school, I don't know what you guys in America call primary school, um, I had the original Luke Skywalker in his ceremonial gear. It was a can of toy, and he had, I think, is it like the yellow leather jacket and the brown pants, and he's got his sidearm, whatever. And we're having competitions who could throw him over a building. <laughs> and I would have been about nine, so I was a lot younger than Jay. And I threw mine over, and it disappeared forever, and I was shattered. And I've never been able to get another one. I've, like with the card and that on it, I've never seen one. So if anyone finds them, because I think they re-released them, yell out because I love them. Okay, that, that just makes me feel so sad. I was shattered. I lost me. Lost my Luke I lost my Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and then my hand Solo's arm broke off. It was like the worst day ever. Well, that's why you don't bring toys to school. Yeah, true. All right, which one do you want to do next? 40 something pops. Oh, wow. What's my favourite pop? Yeah, I get asked this question quite often. See you, buddy. See you, Cattle Pops. Thank you. Um, so I get asked this question quite often, and I never really have a straight answer. Um, what is it? What's my favourite Funko Pop? Oh. I know, it's tricky. I don't um, mind. I'll go and get it. <laughs> I usually say um, either like an It's one, a Rocky Horror one, um yeah i don't know it's just um i can't pinpoint one pop that i love like a lot more than the rest because like i'm okay what did you drop nothing nothing to see here you've got two favorites haven't you i've got yeah I've made, oh do not drop that i made do not drop that <laughs> Dude, this is what happens with us every single day if they do not drop that. Come here, son of a motherless goat. Buzz off off the top. Stay. Buzz off. Buzz off. Well, I'm done. If you guys are seeing what I'm, I just saw. Oh, good god. I'm back. I'm alive. I didn't break nothing. You barely. I'm here. Right. Relax. Ow. Hello, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. My favorite is a common wonder woman. I oh, know why yeah. too. <laughs> Why you how many it? tickets did you how many game <laughs> tickets did you get to get that? So Mike, have you said what your favorite is? No. I see the cool little horror section. Yeah, it does. He move over. He has a sort of horror collection over there. Like he's got uh Hannibal Lecter, uh the Invisible Man, Wolf Man. 100 US, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh. okay? um I really like the um Scooter, Jacob. Um, I really, really like the Universal Monsters. I've always liked the old movies, etc. Mm, I love them too. And yeah, the little pops that come out are pretty cool too. So, but I like the Universal Monster pops. Yeah, they, I think they did a really good job. Yeah, they're considering cool. like how old the movie is. I always wanted the um, when I was back collecting pops full time, and this would be a grail. Would be yes, they are. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein, Glow in the Dark. She's awesome. Mm. 
So can I tell them about me in the dark? Um, yeah, but I'll show them my okay. favorite first. Okay. So I have two favorite pops, um, and they're both. Well, I call them grails. I don't know if you guys call them grails. This is the first one, the original He Man. Sorry about the glare. There he is, the original He Man. And the reason, well, I'm a Master Universe nut, and I don't own a single figure. So if anyone's got spare figures, Kevin, or a, <laughs> or a Castle Grey Skull. Oh, I know where who would have them. Um, so yeah, the kids and my wife got me this for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. So it's sentimental to me as well, and it's He Man. So how can you go wrong? So that's number one. And uh, Dragon Hills, yeah, Dad has a couple tattoos as well, right? Yeah. No, but no. <laughs> um, and the second one, which is even with the first one, is I got this for my birthday. I think was it. I think it was. Yeah, and um. One of our great, great friends who we talk about a lot, uh, Pop and Beards over in Asheville, North Carolina, he helped my family find this and get it for me. And it came from the Funko Fun Days and it's limited to 525 pieces and it's Freddy Funko Superman. Where is he? Okay, you got to pull it up. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so you were completely gobsmacked when you opened that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Mm. Um, I think this come in the... Um, you support it. <laughs> hey, Angela, how are you going? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think, was it Fun Days? They had a Fun Days over there and it was Stranger Things based and you could get a little Hello, locker. Bucky. Was it the locker you got? You got a little locker and it had um, yeah, it's a locker. three limited ones in it. So Pop and Beard's got us one of them as a surprise, but when, when he opened it, he didn't like any of the pops in it. I think there was like... One from Greece, there was a dumb and dumber one. It was just like boring. So he made us one and sent it over, and it had that Superman in it. So it had this guy, and a Batman Professor Radium, which is oh, there, that, glow in the that dark. Green guy right there. That was super cool because I'd wanted that for a long time as well. And, and the third was, one, um, oh, the silver Freddy Funko robot that came yeah. out of the fun days as well. Did you want me to grab that? No. Nah. So we actually made a video called a Better Than Fun Days box. Yeah. And we opened it live. Yeah, that, that was, was, that that was, was mega cool. Yeah. So, yeah, Pop and Beard's come through for us again. He's amazing. And he's got another package on the way soon too, I think. So Can't we'll do a surprise happy yeah. that one, eh? Yeah, so someone said something about Just look at the comments come in. You can't keep up. I know. Uh, it's a cool like, box. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I think I have it in my room now, don't I? Hello, Is Detective it? Bucky. Welcome to the channel, man. Hmm. I recently packed four chasers and trained them for an official con sticker Steve from Stranger Things. It's kind of sad to see them off, but I don't do it. On... Yeah, I do the same. I sold. Um... Thank you so much, Jacob, for um, making the other two people jump on. Bucky <laughs> and Angelica. <laughs> um, I recently just sold uh, Ragnar and Lagatha from Vikings. Oh. They were up the rails and I sold them. Um, yeah, and I felt the same way. It was like giving away one of my kids. Oh, <laughs> you feel the same way if you gave one that, of us away? No, they were heaps better because they didn't ask. Lagatha and Ragnar didn't ask questions. They didn't eat all their food. They didn't mess our house up. They didn't drive me nuts. That's what children are supposed to do. That's what they're programmed for, right. Dad. So just to prove I'm not a bad dad. <laughs> um, it's Jade's birthday on Monday. Monday. We won't divulge how old she is because Monday. women don't like that. No, they don't. But she's been asking for the James Charles. Are we going to cut? What's no. it called? James Charles what? No, screw James Charles. What's it called? Jeffrey Star. What's it called? James Charles what? Jeffrey Star, blue blood or um, blood sugar. But because where we live, it's a bit hard to find these things, so I just made my own. What? Yeah, I just got pastel chalk and scraped it all different colours into a container and named it Scoot's Eyeshadow. So if she gets one of these things, I've promised her that she can do makeup on me live. So there are 15, 15 14, 15 Thank people you watching. Jumping on. If you want that to happen, in the comments, give us a thumbs up now or say yes, and I will do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it either when they're my age. Or my age. Well, I can just say to everyone you're old and everyone gets the idea. <laughs> oh, well, no, Dragon Hill's on it. You're looking at my beard. It's bloody, I'm nearly Santa-fied. Santa. -fied. Santa.
Okay. All right. This so next year. the next one in my little kit here. Oh, I just realised. I don't know where. Are oh, you going to go to Supernova next year? Oh, will we go to Supernova Look next Judson. year? He couldn't have given me any. Oh, I just broke his hand off. Yeah, Judson too. couldn't have given any more. Hey, Connor. Any more thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, then Connor jumped on, put three more. I just broke both of his hands off. Oh, so the next one we got was. Dice creates a beard pin and put it in braids. Can I? You're dead. Can who, I? who said that? <laughs> Sean did. What the hell is wrong with you, Sean? <laughs> I want to do it now. Please, please, please. We've got pink hairspray. Okay. Yay! <laughs> See, look, I also vote for the pink beard. All right, pink beard. <laughs> So you'll have to get as many watches on for us as you possibly can. Hey, Connor, how are you? So the next one we got was <laughs> Carnage. And he came with these cool little shootouts, and Venom was the same. But I just broke both his hands off because he's really brittle. Pink nails? No. Judson, you need to be quiet now. <laughs> can I do your toenails? No. No, because they're disgusting and my feet, and feet are sore. Oh, yeah. All right, so this was my favourite one. Hello, <laughs> Actually, I've got, no, I say favourite all the time. I've got three favourites. But... Um, no, sorry, Sean, we're not doing it in this live. So we're going to have no. to wait until after my birthday if I get what I want. Um, then I'll be putting makeup on him. I'll spray his beard pink. <laughs> I'll put it in braids. You can braids? How are you going to braid that? Oh, I suppose you might be able to. Yeah, well, if you start it up here and then sort of just add it in little bits, yeah. I might get cast on Vikings. You're not hot enough. <laughs> so, yeah, I like the carnage too. I had a, uh, Louis, I had a, um, I'm sure I had, a, I don't know where he's gone. I had a Venom, but I can't find him anywhere. But I've got three favourite ones, and this is one of them. I don't know if you can see that. Don't worry, Jay. Is he in the Batman? No, he's Spider Man case. He might be. Have a look. Right there. How do you go over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in the Spider Man case along with Spider Man. Oh, that's what's going on. And a couple of dead bugs. Really? Yeah, there's yeah. a spider on the inside. They're sealed. Yeah, but there's a spider on the inside. Um, so, yeah, so Deadpool is the best. Yeah, I agree, right? Um, <laughs> like he came with the little swords, and the best cool thing is, I'm pretty sure, you know, like, Yay. the little swords come out. One of my favourite scenes in the first Deadpool movie is when he's slow mo, I reaches behind him and takes the swords out and cuts the guy's face. That's cool. Uh, so, it must be my turn now. So, uh, the next one that we have here is none other than Batman. You can see him here. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? How smart are you? I'm very smart. <laughs> and then you say, what's well, two plus two when I go? Seven. Seven. <laughs> yep. So there's Batman. I wonder if you can take his helmet off. Oh, you can look. <laughs> what's the go with his head? It's one kick ass movie, definitely. Yeah, Deadpool's cool, eh? <laughs> that guy was already. I up still haven't seen there. the second Deadpool movie. I still haven't. I've seen the start of it. And the end of it, and I haven't seen the middle bit, so actually that might be something I can I've, do today. I've watched it twice. So, um, Mountain Dew, is there a Green Arrow Lego? I reckon I've seen one. So next time we go to the mill market, we'll go live, and we'll show them all the Lego fingers. There yeah. was a Pennywise It one there yesterday. I wanted to get it, but you just, mm. so you sort of just went, yeah. Here you go, Mountain Dew fan. This one's for you, buddy. <laughs> Dang, Kevin, how many do you have? Exactly, Louis. I ask myself that question. Oh. How cool is that? The little lightning off his head. Mm. <laughs> wait, I saw the 50 number. <laughs> Kev's got so much stuff. I can't wait to see it when you get your room, buddy. I really, really want to see how much stuff you've got. And then I'm going to eye up what I need, and then I'm going to start <laughs> making offers. And it's paying. <laughs> My friend, I have a friend who's absolutely obsessed with it. Do I know Do I know this friend, Connor? Is it me? <laughs> How's high school, Connor? Mm. Right, so you can do that one. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool, though. And then I'll show you a couple of really cool things Star Wars related I found at the market a few weeks ago. All right, so the next one uh, that I have 
No, she's from Seoul. Oh, okay. So here's the next one that we have, none other than Superman. He's really, really cool. I like him. Moving into the new house next week. Large robots. Oh, mine. Thousands of toys. All right. Are you going to have a wall of for sales? So people like me can just go, oh, I want that. There'll be Judson and I and Sandman and everyone jumping, <laughs> Louie jumping on saying, can I have that? Can I have Yeah. That? Right, so this one. See you, Mountain Dew fan. Thanks for jumping on. See you, buddy. So this one is really cool because it, and I've never seen this one before, but it's Wolverine. Oh, like that. We get the color? No, that was it. Mm. And it comes with these blades. Like, they're awesome. <laughs> Old school Wolverine with these blades. And look at the hair on him, man. That's wicked cool. Yeah, literally, I could be put away as a hoarder. Yeah, you're on that. Oh, we've seen there's an American show called Hoarders. You'll turn up on it one day. Yeah, like, hello, my name I'll catch you coming out of GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two bags, like, hello. All right, so that's. Have um, you got the other Lego thing here? Uh, no, I've only got two. All right, so should I show them the, cool, the two cool items I just found the last couple of weeks? Yeah. Oh. My voice cracked. So the first one, um, come to the state scoop and we'll go show them at Kim's. Yeah. Oh, what I'll, hold I'll hold him down and you can go and grab whatever we need. <laughs> can we grab it? <laughs> so the this is... The tennis room of awesomeness. Oh, it will be. I'll have to make you a sign because I'm a sign writer by trade. I'll have to make you a sticker that you can put on a bit of um, core flute or something to stick in your room that says, like, yeah, Kev's room of awesomeness. <laughs> Do not enter. <laughs> so, you ready? Yeah. You ready, everyone? This is what I found. Now, I found two of them. Open up a thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> I found two of these, and I was pretty excited, but I'm missing a crucial piece Hi, Nick. that if anyone's got, let me know. I'll trade you for something. But I found this plate. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a photo. It keeps going. It just keeps going. Yeah, he's huge. How awesome is he? Like, he's just PVC and his articulation is pretty. Pretty poxy. But. Oh my God, it's huge. Hello, hey, Nick, man. how you going? Whoa, yeah, it's huge, man. It's like, but I'm missing his weapon. Like, Mm. I wish I had it. I have everything else that goes with it. <laughs> Big Bubba. Yeah. Like, so it I'll, wasn't there on the shelf with him, was it? No. no. So I'll, actually what I'm going to do right now is we're going to measure it. So let's have a look. Oh, now this, oh, I've got inches. So our American friends aren't going to feel like you've been left out. Hang on, Dad's just grabbing a long enough ruler. Can you grab that? Is there a ruler up there? A big long one? Yeah. I'll grab it there we go. Right out. So if you live in our country, Boba Fett is 460 millimetres high. If you live on the other side of the world, he's 18 inches. Well, actually, these little antenna -y things higher than that. If you go to the antenna, it's 19 inches, but he's 18 inches high. Oh, that's a big Boba. Hey, Kilo. Hey, Kilo. Hey, bees. But not only that, on the same day, mm -hmm. this bloke turned up as well. So they were side by side on the shelf. Yeah. My dad's just like, oh, we need to get it. I freaked. <laughs> like, he's got his blaster. Like, the scout's got his blaster. Sick chance up. Hey, you're there. Stop. What? So, <laughs> yeah, but his, his articulation is burp, burp, like it's bad. Yes. Uh, 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 the little plate thingy is soft. His little visor. I didn't realize that. Yeah, but like, how cool! And you can you can just sit him up on a shelf and him just sitting there like watching over you. So I was really impressed. They're both about, they're both the same height, I reckon. But, yeah, they're both from the same set. Yeah, so I was pretty impressed with those finds. Mm -hmm. Not often I find something cool. Although I did find something cool the other day, didn't I, Jack? Yes, you found a lot of stuff that's cool. I'm off again. Good bye. Oh. I know what I found. What did you find? Oh, yeah, that thing. You freaked when you saw this. So for all you pop final enthusiasts, um, we went to the mill market the other day and I'm always looking for He-Man Master Universe stuff like lunch boxes, Kevin, um, figures, anything. And then never any Master Universe stuff. 
And this day was no different. I didn't find any. But I walked past a counter and for $19, which is retail price here in Australia for a pop, I found this bloke sitting in the window. And I was Mr. Mad Hatter. And at first he was like, oh, is that an original? What's wrong with that? Um, and I'm just like, yeah, that, that that's that's definitely an original. And it's definitely an original. We've so, had it proven that it's an original. Yeah, so all of my um, Funko Pop identifying skills kicked into gear and I'm like, yeah, this box, <laughs> the bag of pop. See you, Dragons. Thanks, buddy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. So I look this I looked this sucker up on um the the Funko the app. app yeah. What was it used to be called? Stash Peter or something. something. And he's got this guy $167 Australian. And I think that's about oh it'd have to be 105 maybe US. So like that's a wicked pickup. What a steal of a price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like that never happens to me. <laughs> Louis face though. <laughs> Whoa. Like, I can't even do that face. No. So, but now we're going to talk. I, I want to talk about a disturbing toy. A disturbing toy. We picked up a few little figures lately. One of them is a bit disturbing. Yeah, it's a great, I'm so happy I've got it. I don't have an original di um, Disney one, Judson. Right, so we got this Batman. <laughs> Innocent enough. <laughs> now, I think this is probably a, Mac a McDonald's or something. It would have to be because it's, it's got the little mech on it and it's yeah. got a magnet on it. Now, <laughs> Batman is probably like most men and he does this a lot. <laughs> like, you could really. <laughs> You could really, you mod. You could really do a mod on this toy. The amount of memes that you can make up with that. I know, Bob Batman. He rocks it. <laughs> Connor, he's just like, oh my god. Hits <laughs> <Mitch> his leg. <laughs> so. I don't know if they really thought about this Batman too good when they made him. Maybe. I like the look on his face while he does it is gold. Oh, that's that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, that's Hey, he's a ripper. So I should do a bit of a mod on him. <laughs> See, someone's just punched something out. Um, no, 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 no. Um, Jason, message retracted. I was something there. I didn't get yeah, to say that. Can't comment on that Batman. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Like, it's a kid's toy. It came in a kid's pack and he does that. Well, kids probably wouldn't know any thing. No, they wouldn't, and nor should you. But oh, okay. I reckon if I just, oh, look, see, if you twist his arm, I've just twisted his arm up, now he's high-fiving people. I've smacked, giving them, like, haymakers, take that. Like, yeah, so he probably had, like, a gun or something in his hand. Well, or Batman the, doesn't have a gun. Or the bat flinging thing. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so I fixed him. There you go. <laughs> but if you twist his arm down, <laughs> Oh, that's frightening. So the same little bag we picked up, and it was odd because I see a lot on um, Kev's videos when he's in thrift stores and that, they have like bags of toys, like figures mm. and stuff, and we don't find that very often, do we? Not really. But I did find one, and when I did, it had really cool stuff in it. So what else did I have in there? So um, I'm just searching through a couple bags. Um... <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Jason, hello, I just looked online, and it looks like the 18-inch bobber. Only came with his jetpack, not oh, a blaster. So oh, bugger. I'm a ground or kids today. <laughs> oh, well, so he's intact. Well, that's a good thing, but he would have been awesome if he had a blast because his hands are like, I think his hands. Look. Yeah, see, like, it's really odd because his hand, Jason, is so formed. Like so it's like it could hang on to something, but there you go. Oh, kilo. Yeah, um, so the next little figure that we found in that bag. Uh, <laughs> I also love candles and glasses. Oh, Kilo's on. G'day, Kilo. How you going, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the bags are really cool, Kev. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, so we found this good-looking Spider-Man guy, considering that he was, like, just in a bag along with some other figures as well, clashing around in there. Um, he's in really good condition. 
like all of um, the webs on his outfit and that they're really well, good condition and painted well. He's and got he, much articulation. He moves, like his arms and that move a bit, like if you go like that, it looks like he's does running. Does he bend at the elbows or anything? I don't know. No, he does and he's fully formed. But look at that. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's like he saw that it doesn't make any sense to me. On eBay here in the US, there's listings for him still in box and he doesn't have a blast. Oh, bugger. Oh, can we see your chases? What chases do we have? I don't have many chases. Uh -huh. I'm not a chasey. But um, I've just noticed on this on this Spider-Man, unless anyone knows, he's got little pegs on his hands there. See that? Like, Where? See in his hand? He's got yeah. like little blocks like he must hang on to something. Maybe it's like a web or something. <laughs> Joe Pop how are you going? Oh, yes, Connor. So I don't know what he hang on Hello, to. Maybe Jackie. a because his hand, oh, his hand rotates. He's got articulation in his hands, mm -hmm. so he must hang on. Be cool if it was a motorbike, but his legs don't bend like he's on a motorbike. Oh. Yeah, it is. A, I'm up. Oh, look, his arms move. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that. Oh, he's, when he's doing his thigh work, his hand moves. <laughs> Let's get. Physica. That's like one of my favourite songs ever um, with Barbie Girl as well. So what else did we get, kiddo? Um, you can do that one. Okay. Well, in the same bag. This one's probably my favourite. Yeah, we got a little Wolverine too and these blades retract. So, uh, uh, yeah, you can't so it. all of these are probably just like McDonald's um, like Happy Meal figures, but they're pretty cool and they're obviously from previous years. So... So the only articulation this bloke's got is his head will rotate a little bit. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, well, McDonald's toys aren't really supposed to. <laughs> hey, Sam fans. Yeah, so that's all he does. But it's a cool little figure. He's, like, pulling pretty angry face. Would have been nice to have the tips of his cowl or whatever mask went a bit higher up. Look, made him a bit more look aggressive. Mm. So the next one that we got, uh, this guy has no articulation at all. You cannot move him. Um, and he's this figs guy, this Superman figs. I'm not sure if this guy is from a McDonald's uh, Happy Meal because he doesn't really look like he would. He looks a bit more, like, done up than what McDonald's ever could do. But he's pretty cool. I like him. All right, yeah, so Superman number one. Kevin would go all over this because Kevin actually got one the other day. Of course he did. So one figure I did pick up is the Black Series Archive Boba Fett. And you'll watch one of Kev's videos. He just found one. I don't know how long ago he found it, but the video is new, so have a look. So I want to know, Kev. Thank you, Kevin. Did you have massive problems putting his <laughs> blaster in his hand so he can hold it at a poseable Look. Yeah, you always have trouble with the NECA figures trying to get their weapons and that. Oh. It was like to get that blaster in his hands took me 25 minutes and a lot of swearing and a fair bit of aggression. Exactly. I <laughs> thought I was going to break him at one point. Mm, God. Yeah, Dad, he's always had trouble with trying to get um, weapons into NECA figures' hands and he, <laughs> he ends up um, going like... What, what kind of stuff do you say? I can't say on this channel. <laughs> well, yeah, I was really going off because I could not get that in his hand. They designed it. Like, I'm all for, like, considering what they are and how far they've come with figures, like, these are amazing sculpts and the work they do with them is incredible. But they sculpted it so the blaster handle was so long it wouldn't fit under, the fore, under his forearm. But you got, yeah, I, I'm, that's the pose I was going for. And that's why it was so hard, I think, because it's his standard, like, um, when he's waiting for Han Solo and the Carbonite to come out sort of pose, or you know. So that the back of his weapon was so long and firm that you couldn't mould it to bend around under his arm enough that he'd hold it. Every time you put it in, it popped out there and there. I was so frustrated. Okay, Jason wants to know, did you use a hairdryer to sort of warm them up? Now, that is a great idea, and usually I'm smart enough to do that. But when I've hit anger mode and something's annoyed the living hell out of me, it's basically me or the figure. that I'm either going to break or he's going to break. Hello, Lindsay. Lindsay. 
the new human head sculpts will be a lot better. Black series. Oh, cool. I really like the black series. They're really expensive here, these guys. I think that was $40 Australian. I'd love to know what that is US. Someone's online can quickly have a look. Um, Lindsay, Lindsay, I I don't exactly know off the top of my head how many pops I have to the number, but it's around 120 to 130. Hi, Lindsay, and I'd have... 180. Yeah, 200 maybe, because I've got them all over the walls and stuff hidden around, so I'd have to have that many. <laughs> so that's Boba Fett. Now, one other thing I've got before you move on to that. Okay. I can let you, I'll just talk about this and you can do the rest, right? Oh. So on one of our hunts to a market, um, I found a Spider-Man figure and he was in a hell of a mess. Like he had gold paint all over him. Um, yours is 22 US. Right. So I'd love to know what, if someone's online, can you look up the comparison? Actually, I'm online. Yeah, you're online. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hang on. So we'll go A U D to U S D. Okay, so it cost me, I think it was forty dollars. So okay, so forty dollars Australian is twenty seven dollars in the U S. So you got it cheaper, Kev. Probably on sale. So on one of the pop hunt videos that Jay did, we went to a place. Opposite the mill markets, I think they call yeah. it Vintage Bazaar or something like that. Vintage toy markets. Yeah. Like and I found a Spider Man fig and it was covered in gold paint. All the black web linings had come off. His eyes are all scratched out. It's obviously a kid had owned, like a young kid had owned him. Yeah, and he'd been played with, which is what they're designed to do. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it or not. And Kev talked me into it. He put pressure on me and I folded and I bought it. <laughs> and I come home. And I spent oh, probably a good three hours getting the gold paint off. And then I repainted him, and this is what we got. I think he came out real well. Oh, for, considering how old he is, he's, what does it say? Oh, I can't see yeah, the paint. Hang on. I'm sure he was 80s. I think it's 89, 90, 2000, no, it's 90. 1990, it says. Wow. So considering the age of that, um, I think I got his paint back on and his eyes back on. Pretty well. Pretty good. The old sign writing skills come in handy. Got all the lines back on his body. Redid his feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, Louis. Thanks, Judson. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I got him because that is like the coolest one. But when they made the figure, and I was trying to rub this paint off, thinking that it was an error, <laughs> they put a darker shading across his shoulder blades. I don't know if you can see it. It's a bit hard to see. And they did the same thing around his neck and his shoulders. Yeah, so they sort of messed it up. Yeah. No, they didn't mess it up. They were contouring his muscles, etc., and giving him highlights and lowlights. So that is pretty cool considering how old it is. I might move his hand. And they really packed him out with the gear. So I think they come up awesome. So, yeah, Kev, thanks for talking me into it, lad. <laughs> Uh, so I have a little box here full of old stuff as well. So um, this stuff is like some stuff Dad's sort of made, then some other stuff that we found, and um, oh, that was just a little prototype. Yeah, and then some stuff that I got for him as well a while back. So. All of these things are very dusty. A little bit of dust. Um, Can we both see Endgame? No, we have not seen Endgame yet. No. I, I couldn't imagine myself sitting um, in a theatre for over three hours because I'm extremely impatient <laughs> and I've become really annoying. And I haven't seen Game of Thrones yet either. A lot of people are telling me, check this out, check this out, but I haven't seen Game of Thrones yet either. So from what I understand with Game of Thrones, some ridiculous number of people have signed a petition to rewrite it. So. What? Yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't watch it. Has anyone else seen it? I already know with Endgame, I know who dies and who lives. So don't say anything. I won't, I won't. People on here might not have seen it. Hmm. Louie liked it. Tell you to own like I made a little arc reactor. <laughs> it used to light up blue, like the proper blue. But... um. Sort of broke. Yeah, I had one of these little doobers in it, a little light, and I broke it. So I might probably just need batteries, but 
that was that was like back in the day when I first started trying to work out how people did cosplay, and that was one of the things I made. Mm. You did a pretty good job on it, considering. So the next thing that we got is very very small, and if you get a close look on his face, you'll think that he's slightly retarded. Um, so. So he's like your dad. Yeah. So he's a little Hulk. I'm sorry. Um. So, Jason, do you think we should see it? So I'm sorry if you can't really see him too much, but he's a little Hulk. And as you can sort of see, his eyeballs are all crooked and weird. Oh, just look. Yeah, it's a good guy's look. Oh, my God. Mm. Gamma radiation is making his eyes pop out. And then just like ones here and ones like up there. Look at how little it is. Christ. Yeah, considering how little it is. So that's why I gave it a little bit of free work. Anyway, whoops. Sorry, guys, it's like really bad. Yeah, oh, it went and then it didn't. Well, you sort of said, yeah, he's not good. Oh, yeah, cool, Chabby. Uh, so the next thing that we have is slightly bigger, which is good. Actually, it's not the same character. Hang on a minute. So, Chabby, what do you got, buddy? You guys collecting hot toys? We have hot toys here in Japan, but they're really pricey. Yeah, um, everything's pricey here too, man. Like, Collecting toys for us is from figures is really, really hard. So and greetings from Australia. Greetings from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Hey, hey go all over the world, Japan, everywhere. That's amazing. Uh, so the next thing that we have is this little head. This little whole head. Um, so this guy, I got this for dad like a very long time ago. Um when we went uh, yeah, when we went to Pachuca to visit my auntie. Um, yeah, so I got this for him because I thought he'd like it. So and then you could also open up, open him up, and it originally came with uh, some lights and lollies and stuff like that. Uh, so I've got two more of these, and hopefully there's some stuff inside of that still that I can show you. So next one we have... Is Captain America. His paint job is a bit patchy around the eyes there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, considering. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's Captain and, yeah, there's stuff inside of him. Yeah, they, they, really, they are really detailed. They do a really good. The difference from when I was a kid to now with figures and the detailing and that, or technology obviously changed that, mm. is just amazing. But in saying that, like if you look at an old, um, 1980s He-Man figure as compared to the newer versions. I still, still love the original ones. Well, with everything, basically. <laughs> okay. we've got, so we've got Mars. people from the States, Australia, Japan, and Puerto Rico, Rico, and now Mars. <laughs> Thoughts on Endgame? Well, Connor, we haven't seen it yet, but so I think we're just going to wait until it comes out on Netflix. Yeah, but other people, so let us know what you think of Endgame. Like Judson and Teddy Twain are telling us to get on and see it. New technology. Yeah. All right, so in Captain America's head here, I've got like this little um, sort of sticker. Do you like a dog tag? Yeah, you got a dog tag. It's around my finger. So then on the back there. And we've got this dog tag here. And oh, foul. Yeah. They're really cool. I like them. You should put these on your keys. They're cool. No, I'll just give them a little head. Yeah, just put them in your head. In the head. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so this one I'm probably most excited to open, this Iron Man guy. His paint job is really, really good, actually, because um, it's not just a dog tag in there. You can't wait. Endgame is really good in my opinion. Oh, cool. Connor, did you go to see it um, in the movies? All right, so opening up our Iron Man. <laughs> oh, the Texans are at it again. Look at that. No, Take your stands on its own. <laughs> okay. So, so in um, Iron Man's head, we've got a Thor sticker, which is super cool. We've got. What's on that one? Thor. Oh, that's a cool one. A Thor dog tag. Geez, you didn't hold that up very long. Then you can get a chance to see it. Sorry. Yeah, it's really cool. That one's not bad. <laughs> We're the Republic of Texas. And these things I'm most excited about because they haven't been opened yet. Oh, they're hammers and stuff. Yeah, so they're these little sort of sherbet lollies. And um, candies. You can't, yeah, slash candies. 
You can't really see it too much, but there's the pink ones here. There's an Iron Man head, a Captain America shield, uh, Thor's hammer there. Yeah, they got a truckload of stuff, and they got Hulk's head as well. Hulk, do you want to open one and try one? Yes. Go on then. I'm not sure how old they are or if they're sort of out of date, but you know. If she starts foaming at the mouth, you know that these went very good. Oh. You got Spider Punk Pop the other day, such an awesome pop. I did see that. Is that the one where he's got the guitar? Mm. All right, so here I'm going to eat Iron Man's head. There you go, you can sort of see it a bit better now. Oh, you just trying to steal my lollies. Dad! You can't hear him. I can. Oh. It's going to hit all eat. Mm. Yuck. I'll eat a Captain America shield instead. That one tasted like mm. watermelon that's been in the sewer. Mm. Yum. Oh, God, that's good. It's not good, the yuck. Oh, delicious. <laughs> it was just a sook. You're not used to such sweet things. Hang on, I'm just going to take my shoe off and lick it to get rid of the taste. <laughs> mm. Yes, good. Okay, so he did have the guitar. Yeah, that was pretty cool, eh? So I, where did it come from? Because obviously they make pop vinyls and that based on comics, um, movies, TV shows, etc. Was Spider Punk part of the Spider Universe in comics somewhere? Mm. Might, might have been. Mm. So there's all the heads everywhere. Mm. That watermelon is sort of getting annoying. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's water shit. Oh, Dad. I just need me to lick coffee. Do you want me to try to go find some other cool old stuff like you? I found, and I don't know where I put them, really old comics the other day, like the 15 centers. <laughs> Sewer melon is the best. The only thing in person would like sewer melon is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I got one of them the other day. Which one? What do you mean? Oh! Which is hilarious yeah. because... I got it. Yeah, like, I... I spot. Okay, so that's where we came from. Yeah, I knew it would be something to do with an alternative universe. Okay. There's so many. How do you keep up? Well, bring that in. This is hilarious, man. Grab Leo. We'll start with Leo and then we'll move on to this. So, as you guys know, while well, Jade's singing the Spider Man theme song. He's a pig, look out. Right, okay, that makes sense, man. Thank you. Uh, Gotta go, peeps. Okay, see you, Kami. Nice to have you here. Thank you. See ya. All right, so, as you guys know, I was building a base for Leo. Wait. And I, like, they're $200 Australian each. Um, and they're awesome. I love them. So NECA released um, seven-inch versions of the same figures. Uh, I just really wanted them, but I can't afford them at this point in time. So I got one. But when I bought him, <laughs> when I bought him home and put him next to Leo, <laughs> there was. <laughs> but like, I, I, don't get me wrong. I understand that that's eighteen-inch. I think, and this one's seven. And there's going to be a difference. But when you. <laughs> Have it in your mind what they look like, and then you get it out and put it next to the other one. It's like, it's like my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so put big layer back on the diorama. Okay. But I got Michael, Mickey, and he is cool. Yeah, oh, man, neck is the go. Yeah. How good do they do? Yeah. And his articulation, I'm not going to change it because it took him forever to get the pose, yeah. but their articulation is pretty much bang on. Everything moves. And it also came with the accessories, like another set of nannies, but it also had um, alternative bandanas. So you could have it, or mask, what do you want to call it? So you could have it the opposite way. So the actual back piece here was on this side. So they really thought about it. So it depends on which way you wanted to display them um, in your set, which I haven't got one for this because once I get the other three, I'll probably make a set for them. Um, yeah, I really thought about it. So that's really, really cool how they've done that. All right, I'll put him back. There you go. All right, I'm coming. Hello. And I am now taking Dad's spot. Yeah, so in my opinion, all NECA figures are amazing. Um, yeah, they're incredible. The, de the detail on them is incredible and the articulation is fantastic as well. I'm thirsty. Mm. Okay, okay, Judson. Um, 
So what else do we have here that's old like that? <laughs> I'm still in the process of making a diorama. It's so cool. Awesome piece, poppin' poppin'. Can't wait to see it. I think I might get some of Dad's old, like maybe his old artwork. Maybe that would work for a bit. Here we go. Is it just me or how many times have you gone to like uh and we look for something, you can't find it, and you realize it's right in front of you? That's just what happened to me. Okay. So this thing gets heavier and heavier every single time. <sighs> Hang on, let me just go backwards and shut this. Okay. Okay, it's a Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. I, oh, I've totally screwed up the camera, haven't I? Let's eat. Eat it on over here a bit. Okay, so I've got a couple of Dad's newer drawings and then a couple of his oldest drawings that he's ever done. But before I get into that, I'm going to set this aside. Then I'm going to just clear up a little bit um, so I can, so then I have more room. And so let me just get all the figures in that and put them back in the little box. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, good enough. Ow, I just slammed my finger in it. Okay. So I'll start with some of Dad's older drawings. So he's got this really cool watercolour Batman. I'm trying to run your old drawings. The theme of this video is old. Oh, what, because I'm on it? Yes. Yeah, so there's uh, an old Batman that he's done. Uh, let me just find some good ones. This Batgirl that he did. And then on the other side, we've got one of my favourites ever. So Daddy um, was going to mess up a little bit on this one, so he sort of transformed it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so he did this drawing in 2015. So that's a long time ago. Then he got into these, like, um, comic book cover drawings. So he printed off a bunch of them and drew on them. So there's the Batman one, and you'll probably see a couple more um, throughout me showing you. This is probably my favourite watercolour drawing that Dad's ever done, which is this little raccoon. He did this in the year 2015, again. Um, so that's I love this drawing so much. It's so cute. Yeah, it's beautiful. Then, yeah, I know something I found at the markets the other day that I thought was awesome. But Get in your own seat and I'll show you. Oh, hang on. So we've got some people on here that may know the answer to this. Uh-huh. Who we got on? We still got people on, yeah. Okay. So Louis, Judson, Kev, you guys might know because I don't. I found these the other day. The 15 cent Daredevil comics. So I don't know what era they would be in, bronze, silver, gold, whatever they are. So I got that one. I found this one. Oh, and they're awesome, Nick. Like, they're pretty cool covers. Um, I found this one as well. I'm just trying to get that stupid tag off the front. There we go. Oh, the sound of awesome. I got this one, which is Captain America 15 cent. Now, oh, how cool is that? Bees popping. I'm very keen to buy a few. Sorry, bees popping. I was out of the room. Are you talking about pops or? 
something Jay was talking about. And the last one I got, it's, it's called a Mighty Comic, and it's got a price on it that doesn't make sense to me at all. I got to look super old, but it doesn't have a date on it when it was made. I'm just going to have quietly have a look in the cover. Um, doesn't say. Silver Age, buddy. I got this one. Now, I don't know anything about it. So it doesn't tell me what it's about. Um, it looks like it's missing the snap. The spine's on it and the back cover's on it. I thought that was a news thing, but that's the back cover. So, but it doesn't tell me how old it is. Like, and it's got so many pages. A really cool Batman, a Wonder Woman art. So I don't know. Are they worth any money, guys, these things? I was expecting that maybe um, the 15-cent Captain America one might be worth something. Hey, everybody, I'm back. So if you know, um, or if you can find out for me, that would be amazing. Uh, bees popping your drawings. Oh, right, okay. Um, are you interested in the pop vinyl drawings I do or the older type style I do? Um, back when I first started, I used to try and emulate my favourite drawers, etc. So there's a few of them. Oh, bless you. Excuse me, thank you. But yeah, so back to um, these. If anyone knows if they're worth any money or if anyone wants to buy them off me, whatever, you're more than welcome to just give me a buzz on Instagram, direct message me or Jay, whatever you want, and um, you're more, more than happy to trade them up because um, I used to collect... A lot of comics um, and I got rid of them all the only ones I kept and I'm gonna do this Jay out of the way Can you move the table I'll show you the only ones I kept were um, sentimental ones to me only because they were all issued the year I was born tattooed to what issue um where would I find that but I've just got a number. It doesn't say, you see that? Captain America, 15 cent, 128 August. Are they 1966? So um, the only ones I kept were sentimental to me because they're all issued the year I was born. And I'll just show Jay in a minute. We'll get, hang on, we'll move the camera. This is this is my office, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's a great shot. See? So, oh, the camera's weak, wickedly bad. I know. So I've got a wall of just covers that were the year I was born. So if you're smart and you can see which ones that are there and you can work out the year they're from, you'll know the year I'm born. Oh, this camera being yeah, backwards just, is bizarre. Just gotta, yeah. So, like, I've got Batman's Green Lanterns, Flash, Doctor mm -hmm. Strange, Wonder Woman. Yeah, the Wonder Woman one was the one that uh, was hardest. Yeah, Wonder Woman was really hard for me to get for the year I was born. And there you go. So it took me about two years to collect all them, and they're on my wall there. So. Whenever I come in here to clean, I do that uh, every Sunday for him. Um, I always get really scared whenever I'm dusting the top of them. I'm like, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Mighty Comics is 1966 as well. Cool. There you go. It's in pretty bad shape, mate. Like the artwork inside is seems to be fine. It's got the natural yellowing that they get, um, but there's no damage to it. Um, I haven't opened these ones up to see. I probably should. Let's have a look. Easy. Easy, careful. We've got no backing cards on, which is bizarre. Oh, but the colour's amazing. Huh? Not too torn up? Not too torn up, child. Sure. 
Cool. So we'll have a look. I'm just going to have a quick. Oh, I didn't know this. Well, I didn't made... expect that. Oh, they're made of real paper. Just paper. Oh, no, they're colour. So cool. Wow. I is fully expecting that not to be colour. But the whole book is colour. That's oh. cool. it's gorgeous. That is, and it's imperfect, Nick. That's amazing. Can I hold it? No, because you're a child and you'll destroy it. What? So also while Dad's been yabbering, um, I've put together like a small collection of some of my favorite drawings that you've done in the past. Right. So they're mostly from 2016. Actually, no, 2016 and 2017. So there's only three of them. So then my first one is this Iron Man. I like this one because usually you just do like sort of bright, open sort of colors. With this one, you did more darker ones. I really like. I really like that one. Next one that we did. Well, next one that he did. This amazing uh, Skeletor that you did with Prismacolor pencils. Um, I love that one. It's super Yeah, cool. that's, that's I've got to say, that's not my artwork. Well, it is my artwork, but I've seen a, um, someone had pre-drawn that as inks, and I've seen it, and I tried to emulate what they did. So I just tried to draw it myself, but then I coloured it myself. So it wasn't a coloured piece. It was a grey piece, and I just coloured shaded the way I thought it would be. And then if Mountain Dew fan is still on, he's going to really like this, this Lego Flash. So for a while, uh, you only drew, like, Lego. Yeah, lots figs. of people wanted Lego figs, so I was drawing all of them. Mm. This one's one of my favourite ones you've ever done. And I actually – I actually um, oh, the raw colour. Mm, I have a copy of this one framed in my bedroom. Um, so, yeah, I see that every day, and it reminds me of Papa. So How awesome is the artwork? Well, this is why I love art. Like, look at the artwork in that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So if anyone's interested in these Daredevil comics or the Captain America one, let me know because they're in beautiful nick considering how old they are. I hope you just want them as a display piece. I reckon they look pretty cool. They'd be really cool frames. Everything, in my opinion, looks better framed. I'll have to put you in a frame. No, because I won't look good. Show me the um, – pass me over the Spider-Man's in there. So Bees Poppin was oh, talking yeah, about collection. some art. And I'm lucky enough that um, Poppin Beards is selling my art for me in America. He's got a whole heap of my stuff. And he's at a Comic-Con this weekend and he's selling stuff. And he was actually at one a few weeks ago. And Kevin Eastman, the co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, was there. And he seen one of my artworks I did of Leonardo. And he signed it for me and did like a little Ninja Turtle head on it for me. Um, so that was mega cool. I can't wait to get that. So, Bees Poppin, you were talking about my drawings. I just need to find out which sort you want. So like, I've done heaps on my Instagram, you'll see. But then I've done others like Spider-Man's Hand. That one was really gross for me, and then I watched the It movie, and how I'm like, that's cool. Judson framed them. I just don't have the room. How can you get some of my drawings? So, okay, guys. Um, that one's one of my favourites because there's a little, little cat in the window. Yeah, there's a little cat in the window. Um, so, Louis, they're on Pop and Beard's website, and the reason he's selling them for me is if you guys in the States want them and I post them, the postage nearly outweighs the cost of the print. So we figured if I had someone in the States selling them for me, your postage is like minimal ass. So... Um, Message me, mate, which ones you want, and um, I'm pretty sure because of what you sent me, I can do a really good deal. I don't think you'll be paying for any prints, pal. Um, I did a Spider-Man. So these are Copics, and I made my own little, like, um, covers. So as you can see, it's got my name on it and my edition and the Amazing Spider-Man thing at the top. I will sell the originals if you want, but they're going to be more expensive, obviously, than the prints. And there's a Batman, like black watercolour. That looks like me when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, so I've made my own comics again. Issue number one, Scott Antonio. Da da da. I started doing these ones and I really like these ones. Um, the blackouts, like we put them negatively painted. That's one of my favourite ones that you've ever done. Right, so there's those type of ones. They're like um, Copic markers, whiteout pen, 
and Prismacolor pencils. That's that one. There is an Iron Man watercolor. Um, yeah, I saw it. Sorry, you called me yawn. These are just sort of like little sketches I've done. Mm. I've had people in India and all sorts of people want these ones. Oh, so yeah. depends on where you go. Um, little Homer. Everyone's got a Homer. No one wants to buy that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, then I even did cute stuff. Jimmy Litwalk style for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can even go Scully if you need to go Skulls. Okay. <laughs> You should draw Kevin um, a skull with a cap on it. <laughs> Spider Man was a big thing for me for a while to draw. I like really like drawing him, so um, he got quite a gig now. The camera doesn't really give you a um, good indication of what these are really like. Mm. Johnson wants to know, Dad. Johnson wants to know what's the website where you can buy prints. Okay, so poppinbeards.com, buddy, and he's in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, but now the only prints he's got are Funko Pop related prints. Yeah. So, so yeah, like this sort of stuff um, that hasn't come about. So if you want these sort of things, you'll have to let me know. And what I might do is I might try and get them, get it organised. You guys can get them easier over there. Um, Todd Nuck is the I think that's how you say his last name. That's his inspired artwork. He's done one pretty much exactly the same. So these type of ones are where I practice and learn the skill of how to use Copics for highlight, lowlights, et cetera. So if you see his work, you'll find one nearly identical to that. All right, so I can't say that that's my original work. It is like I, it's not a tracing and a, or a print of his work. It's my drawing, but I've copied him so I can learn how to do it. All right. Um, a bit of watercolour stuff. You got into watercolours for like, well, like a while there. All you did was watercolours. Yeah, so I did that one where I sat him on a pole and then I did the exact same one where he's just sitting on bricks, but that's pencil. Uh, I like the watercolour one. Yeah. But this is So I did get into watercolour and this is one of my favourite prints and some proper watercolour paper, cold pressed paper, that one. I was really, really happy with that. If someone wanted to buy it, I think you'd have to. I'll get in touch with you. Yeah, please do, buddy. Um, on Instagram or my email. So I think I put my email on the other day. Yell out if you want my email address and I'll put it up now and you can contact me for what you want. So um, the legendary Funko Warrior. G'day there, mates. <laughs> hey, how you going? We've got a... Hello. <laughs> so this one is like one of my favourites because it's watercolour and it's on the proper press paper. So if anyone wants that, the original, you're going to have to push for it because I'm really hard to let go of that one. Yeah. All right, what else have we got? Pass me over that folio, honey. Oh, folio. Hang on, let me just take out the folio. See, now I didn't, I just drew these because I like drawing. I didn't think anyone would actually want to buy them. So you've sort of, the pop ones I thought, yeah, for sure someone might buy these, but you've caught me off guard wanting to buy these. So um, I'm just... If you don't mind, I'll run through some of my art and you just let me know what you think, which ones you like. Little below outside, our little dog. I've just seen her. She's chasing little flies around the no, backyard. That's so cute. That's another negative. It's, I don't really like that one. It didn't come out too good. Yeah. It's a negative with the big bat symbol behind it. Um, and it's basically white out. So I've drawn it with white out, if that makes sense. Here are the art ladies. Um... This one's all pencil. Mm -hmm. And now that I've seen it, I've just realised I've got to darken that out a bit. So I've missed his eye. I'm going to fix that. Okay. Right, and the other side is just like a, that's just me trying different edges and that. I don't really like that at all. Nah. I'm going to, I'm going to also keep in touch, Scoots, and let you know about the drawings. Like, yeah, by all means, you're more than welcome. Um, what are our favourite pop channels? Pop channel, we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. um, that's pencil. Yeah, well, she did that ages ago, and I love the symbol. Yeah, so that was that was a long time ago. That one, and this one was just something a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favourite. 
So I, I like wearing the sullen T-shirts, the skull and that. So I've got one on today and there's a sullen there. So, yeah, the home or in the sullen T-shirts just awesome. Take Flanders out. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> right, what's our favourite pop channels? Jay. Ooh, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, top Pops is really cool. I well, like you've them. got to admit that Tristan, when you first started, was very good to you. Oh, yeah, he was incredible. Yeah, well, Tristan I went out of his way for us. He was um, really friendly and nice. So that's where was. Jay started pretty much. Yeah, but look, I look up to him a lot. He's a very big inspiration. But a lot of you guys are as well. Tony Toy Hunter, you're a fantastic and huge inspiration. Judson's videos, they're Judson's, awesome, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. We get a lot out of Judson's videos. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, we get heaps out of Tattoo Toy Hunters, obviously, um, except for the plates and candles. We just can't no, get I don't into really it. like them. No, much. I'm not into ceramic no. that much, but he is. He loves them. And on his latest video, he pointed out that there's more um, ceramic stuff and candles to look at. That was quite amusing when he said that. Did you do this one? I think so. That one? That's watercolour and pencil. Oh, yeah, did you do that one, Ed? I don't know. Have a look. That was in 2017. Was it? Oh. Well, here's one. Oh, this is one of my favourites. I love that. I might take it out of the cover. This one took about, oh, 30 hours to draw on and off. On and off, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Now that, look, that would look really cool as a poster in someone's apartment. Mm. Must admit, like Harley Quinn's rocking it. Yeah, she's awesome. Look at the Bazastos. Dad. Well, oh, they're pretty good. Dad, sir. That's why she wears that really cool. Yeah, all right. And when I'd come home from work and I'd had a rough day, I'd just go out and quickly just sketch something up. So I'd just do little things like that. They're no good, they're like, they throw away. Someone buys a few prints, I'll give you one of these. Yeah. Um, Whenever women are angry at men and they're in a public place and they don't really want to say it, they talk through their teeth. And it's like, mm, be quiet, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> uh, well, all all girls women. do it. Upsetting women, isn't it? Fun? I just um, yeah, another little after work, quick drawing. Sketch thing. Um, this one wasn't quick. This was about another 20-odd hours to do that one. Yes, uh, Sean, we sent um, Top Pops a custom pop of himself, yeah. Um, he really liked it, actually. Who, Tristan? Yeah, Tristan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done some nice things for us, so we sent him a – I made a custom pop for him. He's pretty easy because he's a simple look and he's just an average kid to do, so yeah. that made it really easy. Yeah, he's, he's really cool, Tristan. Um, when I was in India, working for, in India, I got stuck in a hotel a lot. I didn't really want to go far once I'd been out a few times. So <laughs> I did lots of Spider-Mans while I was in India. I was so glad – I took my pencils with me and my wife, I run out of a few colours and I couldn't, I couldn't get them in India. Um, so she sent me some and they still haven't arrived. And that was four or five, when did I write that? 16. That was three years ago and the bloody pencils still haven't arrived. Yeah, so we sent them to him, India, up to India, but he came home before they got to him. So who knows where they are now? I tried to draw Jade one day just out of memory. Hang on, mate. You need to open your eyes a bit more. I'm I nearly got it, I think. Sort of. If I was wearing a singlet and that choker that I broke. You used to wear that choker? Mm -hmm. I, love, I love chokers. But, so um, if I, I tried. Don't, um, don't look portraits, mate. Don't. I'd rather go like that. Don't get me wrong. I like drawing my kids, but I'd rather draw a Spider-Man. Mm, my hair's frizzy today. I was, I tried straightening it. This is Todd Nux style. I, I really love this style. you got to show them how you clean. And the Deadpool. You want me to do that? I think they're getting sick of my art. So yeah. All right. So Todd Nuck style. How's the dog going? Yeah, she's going really well. She's chewing everything still. Um. So yeah, she's in a bit of trouble, but she's okay. Now this is Jade's favorite drawing I've ever done. And if you ever wanted to buy the original, I doubt I could do that. I could definitely do a print, but you would have to give me the world before I get. I gave that to you. That is. Um, he drew this for me. Um, what year? I drew that in 2017. Yeah, so a while ago now, and it's still my favourite out of like all of his artworks to this day. I love it so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pencils, now I've got a Star Wars one coming up. 
I don't just draw Spider-Man all the time. Mm. So this is a mono version. Yeah, apparently. And this one took a long time. But I really like this one. Yeah, it's really cool. Doesn't do it justice on the camera. No, not really. Can you pull that curtain all the way down, please? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, that Boba Fett, that took me a long time to get it to look like that, like to make it look three-dimensional, those sort of things. No, just take it. No, I've never drawn a spawn. There you go. Actually, all right, now you've done it. Now I'm going to have to draw a bloody spawn, aren't I? Draw a stormtrooper with, like, a dark backdrop. Yeah, I could do that too, eh? There's so many things. So, yeah, the quick Spider-Mans, like, they take about oh, 20 minutes to draw. Oh, that would probably take me two days. Right, yeah, once you get rocking on these things with Copic markers, because you're basically, you're not colouring in at all. It's not in great depth. It's just, like, layer over layer really quick. But then this, one is, this is the opposite. This is, like, 25 hours. The unicorn's my favourite part. The glare's killing it. Hang on. Yeah, you've got to take it out. Problem with white card, it doesn't take much to destroy that. So yeah, then then you get the total opposite. <laughs> and I started making these covers for everything I was drawing myself. Oh shit! Hey, Dad. All right, a couple more, and then we'll stop talking about my art. Oh yeah, I think you get off soon. Yeah. We've been going for an hour and a half. All right, so. Did you like my hairstyle? Looks like an old blade. Um, quick free and flash. I don't know if I really like that one. No, I didn't. No, to be honest, I didn't really like it that much. That was like it? sort of memory. Um, I didn't really want to tell you that I didn't like it. Like I was trying to see how quick I could draw things, and that was like 13 minutes. I think I drew that in, like just markers whacked it out. I'm just whipping it off. And just to show that I can't do it right all the time, I tried to do a Spider Man. I'd spent so much time on it, the background, getting it right, and then I got his neck all up the shit. Yeah, <laughs> sort of looks like he's half broken it. Yeah, no so oh, it was frustrating. Yeah. Um, this is where I started doing negatives. I like that. Do you have any signed pops? No, we don't, Sean. We're, we're mostly about just collecting them for the sake of it. Not really. I don't think I'll sell most of my pops. Dad might, but. Yeah, I'm up to sell whatever he's want. Yeah. Um, then it was just skulls. That is so old. Yeah, that's pretty old. When did you do that? I oh, know, 2016. That one's not too bad. That one's pretty old, boy. Lots of Batmans. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the artwork that is on Pop and Beard's website, oh, these sort of things. Amazing. That's my favourite one that you've done in that regard. In that yeah. sort of style. I love it so, so much. So I'll quickly go through them because there's a handful of them. kind of loves the drawing. Thanks, buddy. So I'll quickly run through these and then I reckon, yep, can you put the other artwork back in there for me, Sora? Yeah, come back there. No, it's just my test piece. Oh, sorry. Yep, I'll take all the stuff and go away with it. I just have an 11 with Ego's Chase sign, which I got signed in April. Did Can I ask, if you don't mind me asking, did it cost a lot of money, Akami, to get that signed? Because I heard it was pretty pricey to get her to sign something. Yeah, beautiful little Bobby Brown. Yeah, so for everyone asking um, what's on Pop and Beard's website, these are the artworks you'll get that are on his website, right? So you got Willy Wonka, the Superman, You Know Nothing, Jon Snow. You know nothing. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Um, did you know you have dirt on your face, Harry Potter? You've got dirt on the side of your nose. That's it. That's right, close. Right here. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got Deadpool in the rain. Not like that one. Hundred bucks. Well, there you go. Um, there was a chomp competition, and I don't want to talk about it too much. No, but don't. previous to that, I sent a picture to Connor, who owns the chomp and i drew this and he really liked it but i couldn't but this is well before the competition but when the competition came around i couldn't use it because it's um, obviously copyright but i did a he-man chomp yeah i like that one it's cool this is one of my favorites little spider-man on the buildings hey, oh yeah i knew like um the harry potter one 
Pop, every time I see Superman, his nose looks Black like man. a mouth. What, yeah. my Superman or Super Superman? Super, 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 super. Oh, I get what you mean. Does, yeah, because yeah. it's got the little kink on it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, my old mate Skeletor. No, I can't do that. Um, I like this one because I like the negative drawings. Fredward. That's cute. Jade likes this one. I've this got is this my... one in my room as well. I don't like this one. Pennywise. How could you not? Well, he's one of his eyes looks bigger than the other. Because he's a clown. I do like this one. Oh, who here has seen the It's uh, Chapter 2 teaser trailer? Because I've seen it about five times now. No joke. <laughs> so hang on a bit. Please pop on. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. So do I, my mate. And there you go. I like how you did them black and white. You didn't do them colour. Connor likes Harry Potter. Hell yeah, he does. So does anyone know what the kanji means at the bottom there? It's the same on every one I do. It is amazing, Connor. When the old baby, when she stares right into the camera like. Yeah. Ref. That's my favourite. I that one. So this is the one Kevin Eastman seen in the States at our Comic-Con, uh, the Poppin' Beers was at, and he signed the bottom of it for me and drew on. So I can't wait to get it back. Um, Mickey? He's cute. I like Raphael because he's angry and moody all the time like I am. Leo? I'm oh, sorry. Donatello? I like the colours in that one. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could probably like talk the whole trailer. <laughs> Flash me. Um, this is the first one I started on. Venom. Mm, I've always liked that one too. For the Star Wars fans, I went with Finn. Yeah. And of course, this pop and beards asked me to do this one. I did that. We've been going for an hour and a half now, quite literally. So I reckon. Actually. So I reckon. Hey, we're watching ourselves. I don't know how that happened. That's cool. So I reckon we might be done. Yeah, I think we've got to get off. I've been talking. We've been talking for a long time now. You got to clean my office up, yeah. 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 Um, all right. So if anyone wants my art. Or you want to inquire about art? I'm all for it. Um, I'll trade. You buy it, whatever you like. Um, this is my email address. While that's typing, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who jumped on, um, had a yak to us, and put up with us talking about absolutely random old things. Um, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, all your support, very much, greatly appreciated. And I suppose this is Funko J and her old dad out. Oh. <laughs> so, guys, I better put my email address up on the screen, boys, if you want to inquire about art. Go for it. But when you do it, please put the subject as something like Scoots Art or Art Inquiry because I'm very selective on what I open in email, as we should be with viruses, et cetera, and people doing awful things. Hackers. So there you go. <laughs> If you want to inquire about art, go for it. And um, no doubt we'll talk soon, eh? Yeah, all right. Um, so for the second time, this is Funko J and a very old dad out. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.